Today, I'll show you how to set up a powerful internet connection in a remote rural area with your own hands. Using the Microtik LHGL TE18 kit as an example, we'll break down how to establish a stable connection even in places where conventional solutions fall short. Let's start with the unboxing. The first thing we see is the reflector. Its honeycomb design with holes makes the antenna resistant to strong winds and various weather conditions. Next comes the main unit, which processes the signal and connects to the network. Mounting supports for the main unit, a PO injector, a power adapter for the PO injector, two mounting rings, an installation kit, and a user manual. I also purchased the Microtik QuickMount Pro LHG bracket separately, which allows for precise adjustment of the antenna in any plane. For assembly, we'll need a power drill, a screwdriver, and an ethernet cable. In my case, it's 20 meters long. The first step is to attach the supports to the main unit, which easily snap into place on top. Then, we install the assembled structure into the reflector slots and secure it with screws. Next, we take the Quick Mount Pro bracket and attach it to the antenna using an Allen key and four screws. I had already inserted a mini SIM card under the protective cover. Then, we thread the Ethernet cable through the base of the unit, plug it into the port, and close the cover. The assembly stage is complete. Now, we move on to installation. We'll need a ladder. We secure the antenna and point it towards the tower. It's important to ensure there's a clear line of sight between the antenna and the tower, with no obstructions like branches or other trees that could affect the connection quality. Thanks to its high-gain dish, the device captures signals from up to 10 kilometers away, ensuring strong performance even in remote areas. Avoid mounting the device on a tree, as movement from wind can cause signal instability. Everything is ready. The device is installed. Now we can proceed with the next steps to set it up. We return indoors, and now we need to connect the cable from the antenna to the PO injector and the injector to the power supply. The antenna gets its power directly through the Ethernet cable, which is very convenient. Next, we connect the PO injector to a laptop, log into Microtech's Rotor OS system, and enter the default login and the password provided in the manual. We go to the Quick Set section for fast setup. Here, we see all the connection parameters. The indicators are excellent, confirming that the device is installed in an optimal location with good alignment towards the base station. If your SIM card is pin protected, you can enter the code in the appropriate field. Once done, the connection status will change to active. After confirming that our Microtik device is functioning well, we connect the PO injector to the router to provide Wi-Fi throughout the house. In the router settings, we ensure that dynamic IP is enabled. This allows the antenna to automatically assign an IP address. Now, let's conduct a speed test. The speed was 105 megabits per second, an excellent result. This allows you to watch 4K videos, stream, and enjoy smooth, unrestricted internet browsing. It is important to keep in mind that connection speed depends not only on the antenna's performance, but also on the current load on the network from your internet provider. I personally saw this antenna in use at a client's location where the speed test showed an impressive 600 megabits per second. Thank you for watching, and I wish you success in setting up your system and enjoying a fast, reliable internet connection.